Hello and welcome, I'm Duncan Ritson Elliott. In this video series, I'm going to show you how to build your own tutor website at your own web address with your own web hosting. Before we get on to that, it's worth pointing out that you can do 90 plus percent of what you want to achieve using tutortube.com because not only does it do the two main published stated things of the online learning area and the tutor pay lesson payment automation system in setting that up it actually creates your own website for you it's built on the same system as I'll show you how to build your own separate website but it's built on the same technology so it will actually enable you to do probably most of what you want to achieve anyway so it's worth looking at if you can create your website on tutortube.com it is a lot easier and if you're going to be using the tutortube system for your lesson payment system for lesson payment automation and to create an online course or for a private one-to-one -one recordings of your lessons then you'll be using that system anyway and it will generate the website for you. So to do that or at least to have a bit more of a look at this if you look at this area here on tutortube.com so if you just go to tutortube.com click on this tutor tell me more link here and you'll come to this page here if you just scroll down you read the details if you want as you read through you read on down you've got the details of the overview of it all you can click on either of these details here and then again as you scroll down here you get the details of the tutor pay system so if we just scroll down the bottom here and then down here you can check if there is availability currently this month because it has to be limited due to the service which is free but if you click on through there you'll be able to sign up and set your website up there now when you've set your website up using this system you can actually do something called domain mapping what that means is you could still get your own web address mytutor.co.uk for instance and your tutortube.com website maps onto that domain so your students parents etc they would still go to mytutor.co.uk not tutortube.com so it's your own branding your own feel and you can customize the look and the feel of it so just before we get into this how to set up your own tutor website series just worth pointing out that, that you have got those options on tutortube.com so possibly worth having a look at that so all that said now let's get into the details of this tutorial series showing you how to create your own tutor website first of all we need to buy a domain name which is a web address the place I would mostly recommend is either UK2 or within hostpresto.com if you've already got your own hosting then you can purchase it from UK2 and point redirect the domain from UK2 towards your web hosting if you want to start completely from scratch I'll suggest simply going to hostpresto.com and buy both the domain and the web hosting together it's slightly more expensive by about two or three pounds to do it this way but it is slightly easier because you don't have to worry about what's called a name server to redirect your domain from one company to the hosting on another so the quickest easiest way is to simply purchase it on hostpresto.com or another site that will do it any other site that you're happy with if you make your own decisions on that that's fine hostpresto is a company that I have used many many times and have proven effective both technologically in terms of providing good web hosting and secondly good support which is vital with a website because in case anything goes wrong you need to be able to contact people to say there's a problem with the website can you please help me and they help you straight away now the purchase process on hostpresto.com is very easy just click a few web hostings or click to buy go through there as part of the host purchase it will ask you do you want to also buy a domain name as well if you just put in your domain name that you want to buy in that process or if you've already got the domain you can simply add it to this process if you already own the domain name you will need to change the name servers from wherever, wherever that domain is registered to point it towards your hosting so here we are inside the host presto control panel for the web hosting all we've got to do now scroll right down until you see soft atlas apps installer wordpress click on wordpress and this is going to install WordPress for us. Now remember that WordPress has grown up massively over the last five years or more. It's open source, it's free and in fact over 25% of all the web, of all websites are made using WordPress so it is now becoming more and more well-respected software for website building. 
So that said, now let's install it. Up here, let's click on install and we're just going to fill in our details here. Protocol, I'm going to want HTTP, it's not secure, so the S there is for secure. We're not using a secure encrypted site, we don't need to worry about that. It's just a standard site and I'll use the www's. It's not going to be in a subdirectory, so it's in, in its own main site. Now the table prefix, I would suggest not using this WP WordPress underscore prefix. So I don't want that because it's a bit of an open door for hackers, or if hackers know there's a potential for hacking into so using this, it's not a good move. So we're just going to change that. So I'll just use something that is recognizable for it being this site. I'm going to just use maths underscore. So every database table will have maths underscore. You are not going to need to worry about this at all. You will probably never see that your database for at least for a long time down the line you don't need to worry about it but it's just something to change now for site security site name and site description we'll just put something that quickly describes us enable multi-site WPMU you are most likely not going to want that that would be if for instance if you had a more complex site like tutortube.com is where each user can create their own website on your site you are most likely not going to need that. It is far more complex to run. If you want to operate something like that, talk to us at tutortube.com and we could probably help you out. Now, scrolling down, the admin account, I'd strongly suggest you don't use the admin username as being admin. Change it to your name or something that is different from this because, again, for security purposes, you don't want to use admin. Use something else. So I've just created something for the username. Password, you can click on this key over here to generate a random one. Just click on that. When you do this, copy and paste it out into a notepad file or any other document that you can just temporarily put it to. We'll save it, and I use RoboForm for encryption, for safe storage, that everything is encrypted behind one master complex password. But just for now, let's just put it into notepad just so we've got a copy of it, because we're going to need it later. And the email... So that needs to be your own email. Coming down, language English, limit login attempts. I strongly suggest you tick this. This will include automatically a plugin that will limit the number of login attempts that a person could would be allowed to make if they're trying to get into your site. If they're a genuine person, then they shouldn't make too many attempts within a, a minute or two. If it's a hacker, they would and they'll be blocked. So again, it's a security device. Advanced options. The only ones I would suggest you change, database name, and probably you want auto upgrade, it just makes the upgrading easier. And it's the same for plugins and themes. Unless you've got a very specific reason why you would not want to automatically update them, you might as well just tick those. And database name, make it something recognizable, but there's something that's different from that. Select a theme section here. We'll leave this for now, as it says this is optional. We'll come back to this later, because there's a few considerations with the theme. We'll get into later so let's install this now just before i do a couple of things this has taken a lot longer to talk through than it would for you to actually do it would be about two minutes one minute and you're done and after you've clicked install it takes about 30 seconds that's all secondly put your email address in here so that you get sent the details of this installation so now let's hit install and we're off and off it goes it'll take a few seconds to install this it's just doing a few checks and it's done. That was it. I didn't even pause the recording while that was installing. That was as long as it took. It's done. So that's it. That's the end of this video. So we've just to recap, we've just purchased a domain name. We've purchased web hosting and we've set up a website in a matter of minutes. There is our site. So from now on, I'll show you how to edit, adapt, improve, optimize your website. So it's great for customers and it's great for Google and I'll show you how to add new pages and everything you need to do. So on to the next video.